Hey teacher friends, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel, Golden State Educate! So in today's video, I am so excited to bring you my very first first year first grade classroom haul. I've been slowly collecting all of these goodies um, over the last couple of weeks and I'm so happy to share all of these supplies with you. I've gone to Target and Dollar Tree, Michaels and Goodwill, and then I had some very, very sweet friends donate some things from my Amazon wish list. So I'm so excited to share all of these things with you. All right, so let's start with Target. So from Target, I got, I got two of these milk crate bins. I got this white one. And I also got this black one as well. I felt like these two colors were pretty safe bets because I know that I want to use white and black and pops of color in my classroom. So, so these two were perfect. I also got them for $3. I don't know how much they usually are, but they were only $3 at my Target. It said that they were like five or six, but when I rung them up, they were three and I was not going to argue. I wasn't going to say anything. So I have these two for now. I plan on using them for my students' take-home folders so I can put all of their stuff in here and then compile it into their folders to send home at the end of the week. And then I also want to use them, I think, for student data. So if I find other uses for them, I'll be sure to go on down to Target and get some more of those. All right, so the first thing that I got was this pillow. I'm sure you've already seen this pillow from a million people, but I just thought this was so stinking cute. It's um, alphabet on the front and then white and black stripes on the back. I thought this would be really cute for my classroom library because it's just really cute and comfy. I don't know if this is something that we'll be actually able to use this year because of coronavirus and everything going on. I don't know if kids will be able to touch stuff like this, at least not in the beginning of the year, but I bought it for safekeeping. Hopefully I can use it this year, and if not this year, I can use it next year. It was just too cute to pass up, so I got this from Target. And then to go along with that, I also got this totally stinking cute sign. Everyone has this. I'm teaching first grade, so I think alphabet things um, is just perfect for my kiddos. And I'm excited to figure out somewhere to hang this in my classroom. I also got a couple of borders. So these are reversible borders. They're multicolor and then they're black and white. So I'm not sure which side I'm gonna use. To be honest with you, my Target was kind of picked over when I got there. Um, so I'm going to have to go on a little bit of a Target dollar spot adventure and see if they have other borders. I really, really like these two, but there's some other cute ones that I have my eye on. So we'll see if I can find some of those. And then I also got two packs of these dry erase um, word strips. It's perfect because I can write a ton of words on these and then um, stick them to my board. So what I'm hoping to do is cut them into smaller pieces for words like the A and shorter words. Um, and then I'm also going to put a magnetic strip on the back of them so that way I can hang them on my whiteboard. Kids can look at the words and make sentences and I think this will just be used really user friendly for me and my first graders. Next from Target Dollar Spot, I got this super cute stamp. So it has a 10 frame and then it also has a number line on it. So I think this will be really great um, for maybe working in small groups or just if I need to do something really quick with the kid, I can just stamp this on their paper and we can work through it together. So for $3, I couldn't pass this one up. Next from Target, I got this banner, these little black felt banners. Um, it's three feet long, so I'll be able to use a so I think I'll be able to use quite a bit of it. I'm not sure if I want to put my name on it or if I want to put like welcome to first grade or I might cut it up into smaller pieces and put it on my bulletin boards like read or math or write. Um, for the price, it was really good. I can put some letters on this and string them up. So I'm happy to pick this up. Next from Target, I got these two um, little clips. So I think I could use these for hanging anchor charts or just other decorative things around my classroom. I just got black and white. They were only a dollar um, and they go with my theme. So I'm not totally sure what I'm using these for, but I'm sure I will find some kind of purpose for these. All right, so that is everything that I got from Target. Next, let's do Dollar Tree. So a couple of weeks ago, I decided to hit up the Dollar Tree. There was a lot of things that I was looking for that I didn't find. So I don't know if I went to a bad Dollar Tree or what, but I haven't actually ventured out to the other ones. So I'm sure I will have another classroom haul for you all very soon. Um, but from this trip, I just got this black basket. I also got these little snack containers, which everyone uses for dice. And I think it's a great idea. I'm sure with first grade, my dice would be flying all over the place. So I'm happy to have these uh, one die. I, I think one die fits in here. I haven't tried out two, but I will put my die in here and it will be perfect for my kiddos. I also got this just plastic container. Perfect because we are a PBIS school, so positive behavior reinforcement system is the behavior management system that we use at our school. And we have little tickets called lion roars um, because our mascot is the lion. So I hope to put a little lion on here and then I can put all of their lion roar tickets in this little bin. And then at the end of the week, all I have to do is pick a couple of names out of here. So I thought that that was perfect. 
I actually might even cut like a slit in the top of this so I don't have to, so the kids don't have to screw it off every time, but we'll see if I actually get to that. Next, I got these big dice. I think this will be really good for deciding groups or um, if I have a couple different options, kids can roll these and decide what they wanna do. I also think this might be good for math groups. Um, and yeah, I think I'll have a couple of different purposes for these large dice. So next up, I got these, they're not etch sketches they're magnetic drawing boards. So I'm hoping to use these in my rainbow cart. I wanna have a bunch of different activities for spelling and for sight word practice. And this is really perfect because the kids can just write the words and then erase it. Um, so I bought four of them. Again, with coronavirus, I'm not sure if we will be able to use these. I really hope we will, but if not, um, I'll be able to use them at some point. And I have my receipts, so always keep your receipts. Whether I end up using them or not, I will be able to return them if I don't end up using them. So I hope I can, but if not, um, I'll either return these or I'll be able to use them in another year. And then last from Dollar Tree, I got a bunch of Play-Doh. So I got orange, blue, purple, and then green and yellow. So again, with that rainbow cart, with my spelling and sight word activities, I want to use Play-Doh. So it's like kinesthetic learning. And instead of using a stamp pad, an ink pad, um, I just want my kids to stamp the letters into this Play-Doh. So I think that will be a really fun interactive activity for them to practice their words. So that's everything that I got from Dollar Tree. All right, next up, I just have these two miscellaneous items. So my best friend, Rachel, was FaceTiming with her sister the other week, and her sister is a pre-K teacher, and she was also at Ikea. So while they were FaceTiming, my friend Rachel saw this in the background, and she told her sister to pick it up for me, and it is just the cutest, ah, the absolute cutest rainbow carpet, and this is going to be perfect for my kiddos to wipe those dirty feet before they walk into my room. I've seen so many teachers have this, which I thought was just so funny, um, but it is adorable, and I can't wait to have this, this happy little rainbow in my classroom. And then I also got this teal bin, which is so great. I've been seeing these at Michael's, but I actually got it from Goodwill. Um, funny story, I was looking at this um, and it came in a pack of two. And this lady came up to me, she was like, hey, are you looking at that bin? I said, yeah, but the problem is, is I only want one. I don't need two. And it was two for $6. And she was so kind, she ran up to the register, she bought it, and then she gave me this one. So I am so happy to have this. I'm either going to use this as my lunch bin for lunch boxes, or I might put like book buddies in it if we're allowed to have pillows and stuffed animals um, but I, so I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna use this for but I will have a purpose for it it is perfect it is good as new and it was free so thank you so much to that kind woman all right next up is Michael's so all right so to go along with the rainbow I also got these rainbow task cards I'm sure you saw when these were on sale they're usually $42 but they were $12 last week so I had to run out and grab them I hope to use these for my task cards so I hope to have ELA task cards and math task cards, and then my kiddos can just use these to practice their facts and do some fun activities with these. And then I also got, I also got three of these like crafting bins, um, but I'm going to use these to keep all of my master copies. So these are usually $10 and I think I got it for like $2.99. So such a good deal. I want to keep like every all of my master copies from like September October November every month I want to have them um I would have bought all the ones that I could have for the whole year but I actually have to move I'm in San Diego right now and I'm teaching in the Bay Area so I'm going to have to move all of this stuff with me um and 12 of these bins or nine whatever of these bins would have just taken up way too much space so I just got three to start with that should get me through the beginning of the year and then the second I see these on sale I'm going to pick up some more to have for the rest of the year so this will be a really good system to organize all of my things and last but not least I wanted to show you all of the things that I've gotten from my Amazon wish list so for the last couple of weeks I've been buying things here and there for other first-year teachers and um, so many people have been so kind to gift some things back to me and my first-year classrooms all right, so the first thing that I got was from one that says, enjoy your gifts from a fellow California teacher. I love using this book to teach my kids writing and post-its are always so handy to have. I hope you have a great first year. Love, Ashley M. So thank you so much, Ashley. And Ashley got me the name jar, which I'm so happy to have. I actually read this to my fifth graders and did a activity with this. Um, so I'm really excited to read it to my first graders. It's a wonderful book for um, diversity and inclusivity. Um, just talking about our names and how special we are. So I am really, really happy to have this book. 
and then Ashley was so sweet she also gave me this whole pack of post-its in the most beautiful colors so I'm a huge post-it note girl I put post-its on everything I use them to tab things I use them to organize everything so I'm sure these won't last long in my classroom but thank you so much Ashley for donating these two special items to my classroom next this says from one first year teacher to another have an amazing year from Christine so thank you so much Christine thank you so much for taking some of your money and donating it to my classroom I know as a first year teacher we are already having to buy so many things so thank you from the bottom of my heart for donating to my room and Christine got me uh, the who would win book so it's Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Velociraptor so wow I just butchered that so it's Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Velociraptor and I'm so happy to have this I already have one um, of the who would win books so I'm starting to kind of build a little collection of this series and I know my first graders are just going to love this book first graders love dinosaurs so this will be perfect to add to my collection thank you so much Christine all right, this next gift is from sending a little teacher love your way from Ruth. Thank you so much, Ruth. Ruth just got me two of these uh, sets of multicultural colored pencils. I saw these for the first time in my second grade uh, student teaching placement, and it was just so sweet. I love that all the students are represented in this pack of skin color um, colored pencils. As we all know, skin comes in so many beautiful different colors, and I'm happy to represent all the students in my class, so this will be great for them. Thank you so much, Ruth. All right, next, Ooh, another pack of the colored pencils. So now I have three packs and this one is actually from, it says, enjoy your gift from Melissa. So thank you so much, Melissa. I'm so happy to have three packs of those colored pencils. All right, this next gift is from, it just says, enjoy your gift um, and teach your love from Alyssa. So thank you so much, Alyssa. And Alyssa got me spaghetti and a hot dog bun. I'm so, so happy to have this. This looks like such a stinking sweet book um, with absolute gorgeous pictures. I love the illustrations in this book. I first heard about this book from Mrs. Osgood's class on Instagram. I just adore her. She is a first grade teacher as well. Um, I am so thrilled to have this gorgeous, really, really cute book in my classroom. So thank, so thank you so much, Alyssa. All right, next. Next gift, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Let's see, this next gift says, sending some teacher love your way, enjoy your gift from Taylor. Thank you so much, Taylor. Taylor Miller, I don't know if you watch my videos, but thank you so much, Taylor. Taylor sent me an elephant and piggy book. I'm so excited. I just got one of these books, um, so I'm slowly building my collection. I have one of them that I got from the used bookstore in my town, and this is just elephant and piggy. Let's go for a drive. So I'm thrilled to add another book to my Elephant and Piggy collection. So, so cute. Thank you so much. And then she also got me um, a Fly Guy book. So again, I have one of these books already, slowly building my collection of this series. And this is Super Fly Guy, perfect for my first grade readers. Um, really, really happy to have this. Thank you so much for your generosity, Taylor. I am thrilled to have both of these books. Pile is taking over. Okay. This next gift, oh my goodness, I pre-opened all of these, but I didn't look, so I'm so happy. Let's see, this one says, teacher love from Kate. Thank you so much, Kate, a fellow Kate. Um, and she got me the pigeon has to go to school. I'm so happy to have this one. This is going to be great on uh, whether the first day or the first week, I'm not sure, but this is my first pigeon book. So again, adding to that series, and I am so happy to have this. Thank you so much, Kate. I think my first grade friends are going to love this book. It means the world to me that you were able to donate to my classroom. Thank you so much. And then my last box. Oh my goodness. My last box is from, it says, Hi Kate, Miss S. We're so excited for your new journey. You will be amazing. Love the Brandos. Oh my goodness, Th Brandos, thank you so much. The Brandos are actually a family that I've been nannying for for a little over a year. I was their nanny while I was in the credential program and I nannied for their little kiddo every day. And then once I started student teaching, I was just able to nanny for them um, in the afternoons, once a week, and then I still see them on the weekends. So I absolutely adore the Brandos. They're like my second family in the Bay Area. And thank you so much, Adam and Carissa. You mean the world to me. And they got me these two books. So they got me Be You by Peter H. Reynolds and Because by Mo Willems. So thank you so much, Brandos. I absolutely love you guys. And it means so much to me that you were able to uh, give me these fabulous gifts and donate them to my classroom library. So thank you so much. 
All right, so that is all that I got. I am swimming in classroom supplies. This is my first classroom haul and I can't wait to film another one for you all. If you feel called to donate to my classroom, I will link my Amazon wish list down below. I never expect anything from any of you, but if you do um, feel called to donate to my classroom, I know myself and my first graders will just absolutely love that. So thank you so, so much. If you want to connect with me more, you can find me on Instagram, which is just Golden State Educate. And most importantly, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, and leave a comment down below so I can interact with you all there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.